back with Alanis Morissette. And uh, let's see, your parents, I don't know if you know about this, they uh -oh. say that you are or were what we call over here in America a potty mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know if you want to talk about that. That might ruin the lyrics and the songs for some people. But knowing that you, you talk like a sailor. I come by it honestly, though. My, my mom's a bit of a sailor. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you curse a lot? I do if it's, you know, appropriate. Uh huh. If, it, if it's, if it's, you know, if the sentence is begging for some emphatic thing, I think the odd. You drop. Can you I drop. swear on the show? Um, you. Other people have. <laughs> how would well, you I don't use want to it? Do it how would you, you? How would you swear? How would you curse? What would? What? The okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it really needed it there. Yeah. You know, that, that was, I feel like it was really appropriate. That was very appropriate. <laughs> All right, it's time. For, Time for five questions. Yeah. Um, geography. Uh -oh. I have written down on this card uh, a mythical lost island. Under the water? Yes. Atlantis? For Atlantis Morristet is correct, Atlantis. Yeah. Which of these, the following, is not the title of a James Brown song? Grill, you so funky. Show is funky down here. <laughs> or just plain funk. One of those is not a song title. Say that again. Girl, you so funky. Show is funky down here. Just plain funk. God, they're all so good. I know. Um, this is a tough one. I don't think you'll get it. Show is funky? That's what I would have guessed. It's actually girl, you oh, so funky. Okay. See that? <laughs> Do you remember the pyramid, the old game show, The Pyramid on TV? Yes. Okay, good. This is the pyramid. I'm gonna give you a category. Oh, no. A toothless dentist. A pilot who's scared of heights. Driving on the parkways, parking on the driveways. A bald hairstylist. These are things that are a toothless dentist. Things that are, we can't accept that. Things that are ironic. <laughs> Thank you. It gets tougher. It gets tougher. Okay. Okay, don't say it out loud. Think of a female Canadian singer. Don't say it out okay. loud. Do you have it? Okay, yeah. now think of a second one. Okay. Who is the second one? Sarah McLaughlin. Did you just say Anne Murray? We'll, we'll accept Sarah McLaughlin. Yes. All right, this is tough. This is very tough. Ten seconds on the clock. I need five American beers. In 10 seconds, I understand you don't drink beer. I are don't you, drink beer. Are you ready? I'll try. Go. Coors? Uh huh. Budweiser? Amstel? No, 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 that's not foreign. Uh, I mean, that's foreign. Uh, Rolling Rock? Yes. <laughs> for, not dr we're gonna, for not drinking beer, that's pretty good. Yes, we'll give that to you. We are moving. This is exciting. I get I get free copies of this. Feast on Scraps Woo! with, uh, you don't drop the F-bomb in here, do you? I don't think so? No. Okay. <laughs> DVD and CD. Big hand for Alanis Morissette. She'll sing yeah! later. <laughs> Have a seat. I like to put take the tie off when I listen to Alanis Morissette. That's just how I operate. Do you know, she's a nice lady. She was good on Five Questions. Yeah. And, and during the break afterwards, she put up with me. I wanted to tell her song lyrics from like Autumn Leaves, which she already knew, and then Polka Dots and Moonbeams. And she listened as I struggled. <laughs> and she said, that's so nice that you know those lyrics and walked away. That was really cute. <laughs> Performing the song, 21 Things I Want in a Lover. Oh my lord. Uh, please welcome back to the show, Alanis Morissette. <laughs> 